Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In between the last episode and this episode, I did a Vault Hunters livestream where we ran five vaults and we got some loot. If you weren't there when the stream happened, don't worry, you can go ahead and watch it, link down below in the description. But before we continue, there are a few key moments that I wish to share with you. I'm gonna put them up right now. Uh, let's go. After life forward, plus two sets of gilded chests and luck here. Okay, okay, and we need 30 cakes. What is it behind? Starting with this room? No way. 30 cakes is a lot. I am not counting on completing the cakes, but man, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna check these chests if I can quickly get the the colors that I need. I think I needed like two greens and a yellow or something. Final one, it's not there. There is no green one in this room. I just realized you can't pick these up when you place them. Uh, so that sucks, uh, but I will put all of these in here and then we continue the hunt. All right, dig down. Oh, hi, fella. <gasps> there are two portals in this. No way. Two portals in this one village room. What? Ow, 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 ow. Wow. I did not, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Oh, I don't want to fight. <sighs> okay, this is right next to the to the gate. I can run if I want to. This is good. I'm gonna see if I can find another room to do it in. I'm really scared. Okay, there's one in here too. The village is closer, but I feel like there's too many going to be too many mobs and obstacles. This seems very very flat. I'm gonna do the spruce one because it's a lot more flat ground and I just destroyed one of the spawners so it's going to be a lot more quiet. Trees won't get in the way I don't think. So I'm going to run execute right off the bat and then I'm going to use this the shaman rampage 2. Eat the power bar, let's go. And then activate the shaman. All right, here it goes. Oh no, I didn't set this to healing. Come on. Can't see the health. We did it. Wait, where's the box? There's no box. Wait, that is. We actually did it. Oh man, I haven't defeated a vault boss in a while. But with that, we got a bunch of loot, and we now have five unspent unspent skill points, and we are at level 42. So let's go through some of the loot. We got a bunch of vault ores, which I'm really happy about, especially because of the Laramar and the Benyotite. And especially the Laramar gems, we got 23 out of that. That is really good because we are basically completely out. I, I don't have any more Laramar stored except for that. But moving on, we got the next chest with a bunch of undefined items. We got two axes, one pair of boots, but most importantly and very excitingly, is that even a word? You know what it is today. We got two unidentified chest plates, one which is Scrappy Plus. We got a few helmets and a bunch of totems and two pairs of leggings. I'm going to run these chest plates right away because I currently don't have a Vault Hunter's chest plate. Oh yeah, by the way, I added the chest down here with all of my Vault running gear because then maybe I won't forget things when I go through the vault or through the portal, I should say. But we got two chest plates here. Let's take a look at what we got. Actually, I'm going to go back down again and grab my netherite chest plate and I'm going to compare right here. So this one is scrappy. It has three repairs, one level, armor is four and armor toughness is 0.2. A tiny bit better than my netherite chest plate because of the armor toughness. This thing is worse because armor is three and armor toughness is 0.4. So this, I'm not really interested in that. However, yeah, I, I think we're going to be running with this. I'm going to put this here because I do want to upgrade it so we can see what we'll actually get on that level. Uh, I'm going to put my chest plate here for now, though. All right, Scrappy plus one haste, one level. Eh. Scrappy, one level. Boots, I don't think they beat what I currently got going on. No, definitely not. Now for the leggings. Oh, what do we get? Rare, I think? Rare. Plus five percent knockback resistance, one level. Another one's common, plus one resistance, two levels. This got th th this thing has six armor. I know I keep going back and forth. Uh, I should probably install an elevator. Is that a thing? Ooh, it is. Requires research elevators. We'll get to the research stuff in a moment. But, oh, the leggings are a lot better, actually. 
way better armor toughness, already has a better level because this only has plus 500 durability. This comes with plus 5% knockback resistance. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch my leggings here because, yeah, these are just going to be a lot better. I'm going to place these in here. Looks like we are getting some brand new vault armor today, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's run the two helmets and these two totems. All right, we got a common one. Not that interesting. Common two levels. Scrappy. Got nothing on it. <laughs> not that good and not that good either. So, so far, these two things are what I'm most excited about out of all this. Let's see, level two, two levels, two levels, two levels, two levels. What does that have? Plus one reach? Nah, eh, not that interesting. Two levels and two levels. Yep, not interested. These two, however, very much interested. I'm gonna put them here and I'll try and remember to enchant them and upgrade their levels. But moving on to the next chest, we got quite a few statues, traders, and some flasks as well. We got a statue generating stone bricks, hardened stone. I'm not sure if that's, I th think. Yeah, that's a modded block. I don't think I'm interested in that. So this can just be sacrificed to the cauldron. We got gray alabaster sacrificed to the cauldron as well. Sand and smooth quartz block, which is a vanilla item. So I definitely, ew, no. <laughs> I will definitely be using that in here. Boom, boom, boom. None of these are ready to be sacrificed just yet. We are very close in the cauldron. Let's move on to the next level here. 93%, very close. Now again, we got some traders selling diamond, vault plating, uh, vault cookie, candy bar, star core is amazing. Um, unfortunately, it is not star essence or star shards, but still a star core is really good. We also got flasks of regret for stone skin, step and rampage and choice flasks for tank. Summon Eternal and Mega Jump. Now I'm going to save this chest for last because that is probably what has the most exciting thing for us. So I'm gonna skip over to the final chest here, which has a bunch of Rally Booster Packs, two Pandora's boxes, 46 Mystery Boxes. We got a Vault Catalyst as well with Simple and Negative, uh, which we might re-roll, and a bunch of Vault Silver, which I'm really happy about. Now the Catalyst can be added here. We did make a few Catalysts on stream as well. With some with silent, which is really cool, optimistic. But for now, let's roll some relic booster packs and hope for the best. That was disappointing. I'm not gonna run the mystery boxes just yet. I want to run the Pandora's boxes first. Uh, that's not exciting either. Come on, do. Oh. Uh, hmm. Yep, that. Uh... Let's pretend that never happened. Time for the mystery boxes. Now, did we get a pigarang is the question? Nope. I guess now is a good time to clear out these empty chests. Now, finally, for the exciting chest, let's open it. We got a stack and 14 star essence, which is exactly what we need. However, a little bit of bad news. This is just enough to make one more knowledge star, which we're going to go ahead and make right now. Star core in the middle, eight star shots around and boom, we got another knowledge star. And where do I keep these? There we go. However, with these nine spent, Boom, we need two more star shards, which in total results in 15 star essence missing. But not to worry, we'll get that later today. But first, let's head to the rest of this. Vault dust, nine vault diamonds, and 19 wu shards. Vault scrap, a bunch of burger pieces, and all this other good stuff. Now, with these wu shards, I can go ahead and grab some wu to die. Eight to be exact. I can convert them to perfect wu to die, and I can go ahead and make two... Wutax crystals, which means I can level up my brand new armor. All right, here it goes. Let's hope for the best. And plus one health. Plus one health. That's huge. That's actually really, really good. Okay, and the leggings. Cooldown reduction. You know what? That's actually not too bad. I am happy with it. And finally, we have the arena crate with just a bunch of miscellaneous items. You can see the ball here. I'm gonna go ahead and organize them now. It's Nothing really special, it's just nice things. And that was that. Ooh, time to sacrifice another statue. Are we gonna get 100%? I doubt it. 98%. We just need one more of these. 
to, well, run out. However, because we leveled up to level 42, we have now five unspent skill points in total, which means I want to go over to the talents page and I want to upgrade strength. We are now at strength level two. That's really going to benefit us in the vaults. Now I have two more on spend skill points and I think I'm going to use those on... Uh, do I save it for Rampage? Rampage really helped me a lot with the boss fight in the stream that we did. That would bring us to level three, which is really good. Or do I bump up Execute, which did a lot as well in the fight. I might just max this out, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fully learned. There we go. Awesome. Now, again, we need 15 more star cents, so it's time to run a vault. However, I am completely out of vault crystals, so it is time to go down mining. Whee! Splash. Now, down here in my mine, apparently there is a best way of mining for these vault crystals. So if I press hold down F3 and press G, I can see the chunk borders. And apparently, if you mine next to a chunk border, that is going to be your chance, I believe at level seven, that is going to be your best chance of getting vault rocks. Oh dear, no, keep running, keep running, <laughs> don't stop. So we're going to see how fast I can get. Oh. Well, that <laughs> was quick. I'm gonna keep mining until my pickaxe is just about to break. Maybe we'll get one more, no. And there we go. Well, we only got one Vault Rock Ore, but we didn't mine for very long either. So, you know what? This is fine. One is all I needed for today. Let's take the Fortune Pickaxe and let us hope for the best. Okay, we got four. Okay, you know what? That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and see what the recipe is going to be. Six. What is that? Heart of Diamond? Hold up. I thought this thing could only get vanilla things what heart of diamond yikes that's an expensive crystal wow that's expensive <laughs> sunflowers isn't a big deal the snow blocks aren't either because i do have you know if you're ready to be sacrificed nope i do have yep snow blocks and yep more snow blocks so this is fine but that Ay ay ay. Okay, well, first things first, where can I find a sunflower? Hold on, if we hadn't gotten those vault diamonds, we wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> if we hadn't had four vault diamonds, we wouldn't be able to run another vault. Because we, in order to get vault diamonds, we would need to run vaults. Huh. Also, no sunflowers. Sunflowers sighted. I basically need a stack. There we go, and now for the very expensive item. Need diamond block, four alexandrite, and four vault diamonds. Well, I'm very glad that we got these things, otherwise this would have been impossible. This crystal I have in my hand right now is extremely expensive. Let's see if there's anything worth putting on. Silent. No, we already got that a bunch. I don't think, I think I'm just gonna run it uh, random. But before I do that, of course, I need to enchant my brand new armor. All right, chest plate, unbreaking three and protection four. Same with, uh, uh. please hold. Same for the leggings. There we go, perfect. And now I think I am ready after taking a quick nap. Time to head in here, get my gear, that should be yeah, yep, this should be good. Equip all the armor. Oh, we're looking stylish. All right, I think we are ready to run this vault. We do look stylish though. Let's go through. Let's do this. Okay, no modifiers. No modifiers. Um, My, ooh, three obelisks. Three obelisks. I, oh wow, right off the bat. <laughs> I will want to try and loot as much as possible because I need like I said, styrsons so badly, so looting is going to be my main priority. However, I feel like I say that a lot, <laughs> and then I end up doing something else entirely. Ooh, city room, right off the bat here. I don't know if it's going to be worth checking all of these different rooms, or if it's just going to be a waste of time. You know what? Let's just go to the sewers right off the bat here and loot all of this. Ooh, Sizons, that's three. Remember, we just need 15, then we have enough to make what we need. 
and I'm already running out of inventory space. I mean, this is a good start so far. Ooh, what we got here? Plenty more chests to loot. Oh, I came from that room, so I'm going to continue in this direction. Assuming I don't die. So, so far we have three star essence. I was hoping to get more from that one room. But we will see how things go. You guys are definitely important to kill because you might drop star essence. Got anything good down here? Uh, cheese. Now I want cheese. Dang it. Ooh, an, ob an obelisk there. I did not expect to see an obelisk placed here. Oh, I do see another obelisk though. Wait, what is this room? What's this room? Is this the paint room? Oh, this is the paint room. This is the paint room. Gonna be a pain to fight the boss here, so I'm definitely gonna take this. I do know, however, that you can mine this and get... Ooh, leggings? Okay. And uncover some gilded chests. However, this is not good enough. I need more star essence. I got a sword! Ooh, I am very excited about that. I would love to get a sword. Well, I mean, 19 minutes down. If I find the next... the remaining obelisk... I might be able to fight the boss and get the star essence that way. Also, I'm a bit scared running and fighting the boss. However, we do have more armor now, so I'm a little bit less scared of doing it. I'm pretty sure you can find gilded chests in here sometimes. Ah, gilded chest. Yes. Now that was worth it. Yep, definitely worth checking these apartments out. Okay, poison, star essence. See, that was... Definitely worth it. Generating diorite. Ooh. Iskal would hate it, but I don't mind. <laughs> Mainly because the day I get diorite in the altar, that's going to be very, very handy. I've just discovered you can actually... Oh. You can actually see something from the outside. Ow. Most of the time, anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't take that now. Okay. All right. On to the next branch. I mean, this vault was expensive, so it would be almost sad to not fight the boss in it. So, I think it's gonna be my objective. See, I said I said I was gonna focus on looting. What has become the objective now? Fighting the boss. Always happens. Ooh, dragon room and the final obelisk. Oh, ow. Okay, this thing is actually starting to get full. Okay, uh, I don't know how to properly loot this. Uh, ooh, never mind. Never mind. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Good. Oh, not again. <laughs> the same thing just happened. Oh, Iskal, hello. Uh, please, go away. Not now. Sabo, please. No. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. I will not complain. Now, is there anything inside the dragon is what I want to know. It doesn't seem like it. I could loot a bit more, though. You know what? I, I might loot a little bit more. All right. Aqua room is the final room. Uh, I could see if we can get some potential vault ores here. Might be worth a bit of digging. Yes. Okay. Let's fight the boss. So the strategy I used in my stream was I used execute and then I immediately right after activated uh, Rampage with Shaman, which actually helped out a lot. Go ahead and eat the hearty apples. Uh, cobalt apple that'll last for, I think, three minutes. <sighs> well, magnet ready. Uh, yeah, I think I'm ready. <laughs> Power bar ready. That did a lot right there. Activate Rampage. And let's get him down. Come on now. This should be fairly easy. There's not many places he can teleport to. I feel like Shaman is not activating. Oh, it is active. It is active, I think. Just did one more last time. Oh, it is active. Okay, good. Less than half health. Less than half health. Zombie, please go away. Winter Grave, you're not welcome. Stiasons, I will take that though. Okay, come on. Come on. Drink another health potion here. You are an issue though, but... Yeah, you're not gonna regenerate. You're not gonna regenerate. You're not gonna regenerate. Yeah, you're dead now. You're dead. <sighs> got it. I got it right. Yep, boss crate. Boss crate. <laughs> Wee, that was a little bit tough. Shaman did help a lot, though. That was something. 
Let me empty this up first. So we got 10 styrosins. I re if we get more than five styrosins in that boss crate, that is going to be just perfect. All right, boss crate, let's see what we got. We got 11 styrosins. Yes, 11 styrosins. We got a sparkle team gem. Ooh, okay, not bad. We got an unidentified vault totem a nautilus shell a lucky apple so if we okay that's actually really good i'm gonna put this in here because because if we manage to find like a big batch of gilded chests we can eat this while mining all the all the chests and we'll get plus one luck that is amazing but guys we have enough to finish the nautilus stars that's amazing i just need to sort out this inventory and meh all right, two more. There we go. Two star shards combined with this and combined with the star core gives us one more knowledge star. We got now three knowledge stars, exactly what we need to get started with digital storage. Oh, and we leveled up to level 43. We got a bunch of axes, though. Ooh. Okay. And a sword. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the sword. I'm very excited about the sword. Two traders, not really exciting. Hardy apple and rocket, rocket arrow. Okay, axes. Withering one cloud is not too bad. No levels though. Haste, haste. Weakening two cloud. Leech is good, but no other levels. All right, let's check the sword. Soulbound and no levels. Yeah, that's not really that great. We got some leggings though. Let's open those. Nope. And nope. Now the rest I've got to sort off camera. However, we do have a few statues here. The diorite one, rocky stone, rocky stone. Hmm, That's actually a nice stone. Yeah, I'll keep that. And nether bricks. That is really good as well. Relic booster packs. Please have a relic. Oh, we got a relic. I don't know if it's something I already got though. Mystic Gem Essence. I don't recall that. I don't. From the Richardy set. Aha! It's not one I already got. There we go. We are getting close to a completed relic. Now let's hope for a Pikarang. No Pikarang. One day, maybe. And that is that cleaned up. Nice. But now, with all the loot taken care of, it is time to use our hard-earned knowledge stars and now for the important part which is picking things in the right order because we've got rf tool storage which we need to take but also rf tools base this is currently at the cost of one if i took this first then this would go up with one so this would then cost three and we wouldn't have enough so i need to take this first which doesn't increase this and then it only will cost three so here we go our very much harder knowledge points goes into this. RF tool storage, researched. RF tool space, researched. It's been done, ladies and gentlemen, which means we now have access to these things right here. The modular storage, which is basically the drive from my understanding, the drives themselves, and of course, the storage scanner, which I'm not quite sure how it works, but I guess we will find out. That's on the list as well. A little bit more expensive though, but doable. But I'm going to do the very annoying thing and call this an episode and leave you with a cliffhanger. In the next episode though, we will be transforming this storage setup right here to be the brand new digital storage using RF tools storage. However, just before we go, I do believe, yes, perfect. The cauldron is at 98%, so we should be given a brand new Omega statue. And I want to actually open this one out here in the big open area so we can actually see it because we haven't actually seen how big it actually is here. And we got a choice. Ooh, this is some good choices. Style right. This isn't that good. This isn't that good because these are modded, so not the, that useful. However, the logs and the ice. Oh, okay. I think the choice is actually fairly easy. Birch, I can get my hands on fairly easily. Same with style right ish. Ice, on the other hand, yeah, I think I'm going to have to take ice and yeah, that's the size of this thing. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this and put it in here to a more manageable size. And then I will finally have a friend.
nice but like i said that's going to be it for this episode i really hope you have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you're new enable those notifications so you don't miss any of the future uploads here on the channel also make sure you join my discord server link down below in the description great community would love to have you also if you really really enjoy my content and want to support me even further you can go ahead and check out my patreon page link down below in the description but like i said hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one where we're going digital have a wonderful day and goodbye Thank you.